So once it's dry, you see that this is the base after applying the dark brown. Okay, here the other bases. So just to have an idea. So now that it's completely dry, I will apply scrap brown as in dry brush over the sand areas. So take a little bit of the white and then I apply over all these parts, especially on, on the sand parts. We'll do the, this one as example, and then the other ones I will do off camera. Now I will do a second dry brush with towel like ochre. On, on a piece of paper. Probably I have this carton here where I check first and then I apply. Then to finalize I will go for very light color. This is Samezi Desert. So let a little bit dry. And just I will not apply in all the parts. So a little bit like that. And that should be all for the sun. So I will repeat the same for all the bases and then I will be back when I did the, the work on, the, on all the other bases. This hole is looking like after applying the three layers of the wire brush. And now I will do the stones and then to do the stones what I will do is I will use first, I will paint a base of Charadon granite, granite on, on the stones. So I take a brush, you don't need high precision for that. So I take this brush that is quite old, then I apply this on the stones. So just thin layer of this paint. Here I realize that this part is not well painted, so I will try to access here inside. So this is how then that's all. We repeat the same for the other bases and I will be back once this is painted. Now all the stones are painted and I have to wait that they are dry to do the dry brush on them. So I will use Castellan Green to paint the Imperial War details that they have on the bases. So just shake 
and nothing special in the helmet I apply this all over I don't care if I paint the face by mistake because the face will be the last part that I paint on that base so I, what is important is that I don't forget any part without painting so I prefer to paint a little bit the face than leaving a part without paint so this is very fast so the helmet is paint and I will do the same for these other details I will be back when it's paint so the dark green is applied now in all the imperial ward bits that I have on the basis so I will need to wait a little bit that this is drying and as these stones are not fully dry yet I will wait a little bit more so in the meantime I will start doing some work on on the mini on these miniatures and the first thing I have to do I will do is I will apply a thin layer of Abaddon black why I apply a second layer in brush because normally the paint that you apply by brush is a little bit more shiny than than the matte paint of the spray so if I have to do corrections later on I will the correction will be more visible because this will be more shiny than than the base so what I will do now is I will apply a base on all the miniatures with this with the this Abaddon black to ensure that the shiny shininess of the miniature is the same if I have to do corrections and they are not that visible so just a very thin layer you have to, to apply a very thin layer very carefully all over the miniature okay and then as well I will profit this time to do the the base coat or the prime on the beads so on the beads I will just apply a little bit of this chaos black I Abaddon black sorry I changed the name so like that is very quite dilute very thin layer that will be the base for these beads but I will I will paint them before gluing to the main miniature okay so as this is a very boring and long work I will cut here the video and I will be back to continue with the bases continuing with the work on the bases now I will do dry brush on the stones We'll do first the dry brush with Camry Brown, second the brush with Rakar Flesh. So shake this. And some paint. In this case we I want it very dry. And I start doing the first layer of dry brush. Take a little bit more paint. Dry again. Test first on the side. Continuing with the dry brush. 
see, start having texture, I do second round of dry brush on the stones, applying same color. Now I will do I will apply racker flesh. Again I hit shake it right take it from the part that is more dry on the paint. Have to start using the new one. Test first. I like to test always on out of the miniature to see how dry it is. Then I apply. Just to dry. Again. So sometimes if you want a fine texture on, on a stone, it's a matter of passion and adjusting the dry brush each time until you get the, the the result you want. It's better to do two three times on the same area because if you put too much from the beginning can look very awful. So I recommend you to be a little bit conservative at the beginning until you find the right proportion so you see it's improving step by step now to finalize I will use Terminatus Stone. This is a dry paint from Gaines Workshop. So I will take this little bit from here. See the texture is very dry. This type of paints from Gaines Workshop are very dry. It's like uh, I don't know how to call it, like a staff, like a mass. Then you dry it correctly, test a little bit out, and we'll give the last touch. So much as you can do more of the eye brush, for example, I can leave this more this side more clear, the other side, and then I will do that like that. So this is the stone, and then to break at the end the color, what I will use is I will do this greenish color. It's also I don't need to shake because it's also a dry paint from Games Workshop. I take a little bit. And this is only going to be applied. As you see it's very dry this paint also. You only want to apply this in some parts of the stone. For example, I will apply only in that side here. I will play in that side here. Okay. 
You can be more heavy on that to give the impression that there are some Yes, that's all. That's what I want to do. So the stones are done. And now I will repeat the procedure for all the stones in the other bases. So I will be back when I finish with the other bases. Next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to wash all the green parts from the Imperial Guard in using Agvax Air Shade. So I take Agvax Air Shade. Then I do a wash. on this, on the shoulder pad here this door and the bottom so that's all on the on the wash and now we need to wait until the wash is completely dry okay starting the paint on the on this miniature what the first I will do is I will start with the different colors to differentiate the parts that are black from the parts that are not going to be black. So first I have to plan how I want to paint this. So most likely we'll keep most of the parts in black. I will do this part here metallic. I will do this part here in in some type of bronze or copper colors. And then I will do the gems in green. Also these parts I will do in green. And I will do some metallic color here also. Okay, and then here the gems in green. And once everything is finalized, of course, the schools and the schools and the face are going to be flesh and, and white. And this change I will do in, on metallic. So I will start first doing this part here. But I will want to do a dark bronze or copperish color. So I will start applying this color that is Team Breathe from the old lineup. I don't know if today there is a color that is similar to that. That is a very good base. I use also this when I want to do brass because I think it's giving very good base for when you do brass or bronze or even some copper. So I will paint this. I don't care if I paint the gem. Later on I will do the gem. So I apply this and I leave the crevices between the pl the plates of this engine in black. So this is how it's looking like. that then this part here 
So you will start playing all the basic colors. Because the first thing I want to know is before doing any highlight, I want to know what how it will look like in terms of color distribution. So of course I want that the predominant color is is the black, but I will not leave everything black because it will look like unpainted. It will look too simple. So this is one thing I will do in the color. I was also planning to do some free hands on the wings. So then I will pass. I will use this color light brecher to paint this part. Here I do also the same. We'll do the change. So this part here, the hook. It's important when you do the change that you be sure that don't apply too much paint, you want to keep the texture because later on we are going to apply a dark, a black wash. So this is how the change are looking like. Then to start doing the gems as I will I I will like them on green. I will take some of the darkest green I have. So I will use Caliban green. Then what I will use is I apply this. So the scheme of, of my Dark Elder Army, for the ones that don't know, it's black and red, where the black is the dominant color, and then I have some details on what I call maybe um, radioactive green or nuclear green, where I start with a very dark green and then I go to strike a scorpion green or put big green. So I go here, I will also paint the small gems. I will paint on the ones here on the weapon. These ones that are very tiny ones. And the ones on the Ubinate launcher. So this is the, the slider of the leader of the squad and have the this grenade launcher, I think it's called Fantas Grenade Launcher. Ok, 
Okay. I think that's all from the gems. Now I realize that I forgot some part with the Cooper color. Back to this color where I leave it. It's here. So I will paint this the exhaust of the vanilla launchers. Now what I will do, instead of painting the three, the, uh, the five miniatures at the same time, I will focus on that one. I will do this up to N, so you will see all the process on that miniature, and then I will paint the other ones later on. So the other ones will not be done on, on camera, I will only do this one on camera. So how this is how it's looking like at this moment. And now I will do also these blades on silver color. <laughs> 